Let's run through some of these guys that you are expecting to either take a step forward or take a step back in their second year. And it's only appropriate to start with Sam Darnold, who we just heard Adam Gase is giddy about. What, what do you expect from Sam Darnold yeah, this year? I'm excited. I think what the concern with Sam Darnold was always turning the ball over. We talked about how his QBR was the best in the entire league over the last four games. They played against three very good defenses in that stretch. He only threw one interception. He was fantastic. But the reason why I think he's going to improve is because he was very good in QBR and throwing to quarterback, excuse me, throwing to receivers and tight ends. He was terrible with throwing to running backs. You know who he, got, who he has to throw to now? Le'Veon Bell. That he's going to get so much good. better at throwing the ball <laughs> to the running back. And if he can keep up throwing it downfield because he's a great deep ball thrower, he can keep that going without and also keep um, protecting the ball. He might be one of the best quarterbacks. You know what? Lead. 15 interceptions. I'm okay with that as a young quarterback because you can fix that. I would rather have a quarterback that is confident enough to right. make those throws, to try to fit into the tight windows. I love the fact that they have a bell cow now back there. But I love even more Jameson Crowder's in the slot. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gase with the Dolphins, that position was the second most productive in the entire NFL. Jameson Crowder's a guy for a quarterback that can get open. Short, easy throws, right? When you turn the ball over, when you push it downfield, sometimes you need that easy completion. Jameson Crowder's going to give it to him. Great note from Himbo on the screen just there, talking about games 14 through 17 from Sam Darnold, where his QBR was better than both uh, – Andrew Luck, and there was somebody else. Oh, Nick Foles. Okay, anyway, we needed the note to come back so I could remember what it was. <laughs> Let's talk about Lamar Jackson and what you think from him next season. The Ravens have said they're reinventing their offense. It's going to be all new, and Lamar Jackson's going to be the star. Well, I mean, they've said all that, but they also have said <laughs> that they're going to run the ball a lot with Lamar Jackson, which I yes. think is smart because that's what he does best. I think they are a very good team that could have potential Super Bowl aspirations if Lamar Jackson could just figure out how to improve his accuracy because people are going to be wide open and they added Hollywood Brown out of Oklahoma who can run deep routes and get open. If Lamar Jackson can hit some of those deep routes and punish teams for loading the box, because that's what's going to happen. They're going to load the box. They're going to bring in F extra safeties to be able to have athleticism to keep up with Lamar Jackson, which is going to open up big play opportunities down the field. If Lamar can hit those and also hit some intermediate routes with consistency. I think that this team is a legitimate Super Bowl. Contender. But he can't. He and hasn't been able to no, no, get. No. But there is one thing, being a quarterback, there's one thing you just don't get better at all of a sudden. That's accuracy. That is an innate, I believe, that's an innate ability. Yes, you can slightly improve, right. but you don't go from being terribly inaccurate to all of a sudden be accurate. My biggest reservation is you cannot run the ball as much as they're saying they're going to run the football and stay healthy in the NFL. We see Josh Allen on the screen here, too. We're kind of putting these guys in a similar category right. just because they both are good runners. Josh Allen, we know, he does have a cannon arm. He can yeah. really let it rip. But what, what are your thoughts on him and his <laughs> improvements or maybe – step back. I, I was season. very low on Josh Allen coming out because he was not good in college. He was mm -hmm. not good in high school and I believe that he was not going to be good in NFL but he showed some real <laughs> he showed some real promise Goodness. in the last season so I'm a little higher on him now. I was listening to Mina Kimes podcast yesterday. She made the comparison to him being like Cam Newton I think that's fantastic because he's also a great runner who's a big body guy who has a really strong arm who also has accuracy issues. And Cam Newton's been able to have a pretty good career. If Josh Allen can turn into that, which he's so far from that right now, then I think they have a good shot with that tremendous defense. Their defense is awesome. Defense is great. I think Josh Allen's got to learn to protect himself when he does run. It's a great asset to use your feet. He's a big body kid, so he's used to running guys over in college. He's got to protect himself. But I will say... Cam Newton, only a couple winning seasons in the last, you know, six or seven. So that's not the model I'd be super excited about. I'll take Cam Newton I, my, I, as my quarterback. Well, yeah. <laughs> Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.